Another non-philosopher that may be considered a philosopher, since we're talking about reality, is Ayn Rand and her philosophy of objectivism. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on her sense of taking this idea of reality, calling her philosophy objectivism, and uh, kind of starting at the idea that you really could know everything, and it's pretty obvious, and then from that you can derive an ethics about how to live life, like what is the what is the good ethical life and all the, the virtue of selfishness, all that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> so you talk to a lot of academic philosophers, so I'd be curious to see from the perspective of like, is she somebody that's uh, taken seriously at all? Uh, why she dismissed, as I see from my distant perspective, by serious philosophers, and also like your own personal thoughts of like, is there some interesting bits th that you find uh, inspiring in her work uh, or not? Okay, so Ayn Rand, um, I've had so many exceedingly intelligent students basically give me her books and basically say, please, Dr. Basilka, read this book. And I'll tell them, yes, thank you. I've read this book before. And then want to engage in, you know, let me put it this way. They're religious about Ayn Rand. Okay, so to them, Ayn Rand represents some type of way of life, right? Her objectivism. Um, now, why is she not taken seriously by philosophers in general? <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Um, philosophers in general tend to get pretty i guess you could call it they're they're kind of scientists but with words i always call philosophy when i describe it to someone who's going to take a philosophy class i say it's basically math problems like word math problems okay so that's basically what it is so they take words very seriously and they're very formal and about definitions it. very seriously yes. yeah so they all want to get on the same page so they're not so there is no confusion so for ayn rand to basically say you can know everything and you know and establish ethics from that i think philosophers automatically say no now that doesn't mean i say no um in fact uh, we have an, we have at my university a wonderful business school and when you walk into the the uh, dean of the business school's office, Ayn Rand is everywhere. So it's <laughs> so I want to say that not all academics are anti Ayn Rand, um, and in fact, I don't think philosophers are either, except that they don't teach Ayn Rand. Okay, so in one one sense, you could say that because they don't teach her, they're being ex exclusive in what they teach, or very particular, perhaps, is another way to put it. Yeah, it's hard to know where to place people like her because, um, you know, do you put Albert Camus as a philosopher? So it's, I guess what's the good term for that? Like literary philosophers or whatever the term is. It, it's annoying to me that the academic philosophers get to own the word philosophy because like it's just like people who think deeply about life is what I think about yeah. as, as philosophy. Yeah. And like, to me, it's like, all right, so I know Nietzsche is another person that's probably not respected in the philosophy circles because he is, uh, you know, full of contradictions, full of... Uh... I love Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche's my favorite philosopher. Oh, really? Yes, I absolutely love Nietzsche. So he's definitely, you know, I, I love people that are full of ideas, even if they're full of contradictions, and Nietzsche is absolutely. certainly that. Absolutely. And yeah. Ayn Rand is also that. I'm able to... Um, look past the obvious ego that's there on the page. And uh, the fact that she actually has, in my view, a lot of wrong ideas. Uh, but there's a lot of interesting tidbits to pick up. And uh, the same same goes with Nietzsche. And I'm, I'm weirded out by the religious aspect here on both the people who like worship Ayn Rand and people who completely dismiss her. I, I just kind of see it as, oh, can we just read a few interesting things and get inspired by it and move on <laughs> as opposed to no. have a dogmatic <laughs> binary thing? Is there something you find about her work that's interesting to you um, or her personality or any of that? Oh, I think she's fascinating. Um, I don't dismiss her. Um, she was a woman who reached a level of success with her mind at a time when that was difficult. So, I mean, she's definitely um, worth looking at. For, for even that reason. Um, but also um, her idea, 
I guess part of the situation with Rand, first of all, I think that um, her work is, you have to, it's misinterpreted, okay? And I think that's the same with Nietzsche. Like a lot of people think that, I mean, in, in fact, it is the case that Nietzsche's writing before the 20th century. So he's got, the, you know, he's somewhat, his rhetoric is <clears throat> sexist and racist and, you know, of the time period, right? He was a educated philosopher of that time period. However, um, his books are amazing and Nietzsche's philosophy is incredible. And I think that, I think that's what you're saying about Rand too. Yeah. And I agree. I mean, I think that, that um, we get caught up. I mean, likely we should, and we should contextualize these thinkers in the time period within which they are. We should not forgive their, you know, because there were people during Nietzsche's time that were, you know, uh, feminist and, yeah. and not racist and things like that. And, you know, so, but uh, each has merit. I mean, yeah. I would say Nietzsche is, and I, you did ask me to talk about some of the books that made the largest impact on me. Yeah. And uh, Nietzsche's Gay Science is one of them. It's one of the best books ever, in my opinion. I do think Nietzsche was, uh, I don't know about exactly sexist. He certainly was sexist, but it felt like he didn't get laid much in his life. No. It felt like he was extra sexist. I was like, his theories on women are like, all right. He's man. pretty angry. He seems frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, calm down, buddy. Uh, oh, the, the fate of philosophers. <laughs> I just ignore everything Sorry, he just says about women. 